Hi folks, what I've got here is a Type 2 charging cable for um, an electric vehicle. Um, this end you plug into the charger, uh, it can be your home charger if it's untethered or a commercial charger, and this end you plug into your car. One of the issues you can have, and it happened whilst I was in Scotland, there was a guy on the charger next to me, his charger was stuck, uh, his cable was stuck in the charger and he couldn't get it to release. And he asked me, how do I get it to release? And I says, I'm sorry, I haven't a clue. Um, I says, you just got to phone the number on the charger, give them the ID number and ask them to remote release it and hope that they're gonna answer the phone. So when I charged at work the other week, um, I stopped the charge, uh, the end, this end wouldn't release from the charger and I discovered by a process of trial and error that I had to release it from the car first and then it would release from the charger. Before you go about making a modification to the cable, you've got to ask yourself uh, what level of risk are you, you um, happy with. So if you modify the cable so that it, it will release, or sorry, it can't lock in, but be aware that somebody can come along and unplug it from your car whilst it's charging. You will not then get a charge and on my car it locks into the on the other end it locks onto the car so in my case it will not uh, it be possible for somebody to actually steal the cable but on other cars I don't know if they all lock or not so it may be possible for somebody to steal the cable and they're a couple hundred pounds each so it's entirely up to you it's your balance of risk do you risk losing a charge do you risk losing a cable your call so if we look at the end of the cable, you'll see there's a little pocket here and there's a pin in the charger which uh, comes in uh, and um, goes into the socket and then you've got this little piece of plastic here and that stops you actually physically pulling the cable out unless the pin withdraws in the charger. So in order to be able to withdraw the, the cable at any time, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to chop out this little piece of plastic here. And you can see and we can see here it, it's actually hollow. So I've just got to cut along there like that, remove that tiny little piece of plastic and then the whole um, socket can be pulled out without um, the charger having to release it. Slight annoying factor is there's one, two, three uh, sockets on the cable and the charger will only have one pin but it could be in any one of three locations so I've got to remove all three little plastic tabs to get this to work. So I'm going to use a Dremel to do this and I've just got to just take care that I cut at an angle there to follow the angle of the socket the slot uh, and also the angle there uh, take care I don't go into the main connector I just need this tiny little piece of plastic removed That's it, simple. Now repeat for the other two. Okay, that's it, that's done. I, as well as the Dremel, I just used a file just to tidy it up a tiny little bit. That only just took seconds. But that, that's actually what it, it looks like. We've just got rid of the, that little plastic bar across the end. So you've got a pin We've got a pin in there which locks the cable in place you can now just withdraw it I'll just say a couple of things on safety about modifying your cable the standard for the the cables and the chargers themselves is it may have a locking device on it so the actual chargers do not actually have to have a locking device is optional 
The other thing about safety, I would not recommend going around um, unplugging live cables willy-nilly. Um, this modification is only for emergencies if you can't release the cable. Um, you should always um, stop the, the charge uh, in your car first. But um, if you look at the standard for the connectors, um, you've got uh, the actual live power pins in there and you've also got two control pins. And if you um, try and unplug that cable whilst it's under power, the control pins will unplug first and that will tell the charger to stop charging uh, before you actually um, pull out to dis disconnect the power pins whilst they're under power. So uh, if anybody does come along and pull that cable out whilst it's uh, charging your car, the control pins will disconnect before the power um, pins so you will not get a big flash and a bang.